in yeah. a true drummer fashion, I walked to the beat of a different drum. <laughs> you know, I, I was a nonconformist. Went to Jesuit High School. Our, our band pretty much sucked. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I had long hair, almost to the middle of my back, which was not allowed at Jesuit, so I bobby pinned it up. Because <laughs> the rule was it just couldn't touch your collar. You did that too? And, you know, so for me, uh, you know, I, I kind of identified with just, you know, that kind of recalcitrant, non-conforming drummer uh, that just set his own tone day in and day out. And, and it, for the longest time, as Jim described earlier, it was very much a part of my life uh, and, and how I saw myself wearing J.C. sandals and B.B. jeans and, you know, long hair. But it was, a, you had a vehicle to be sort of a nonconformist, I guess, so to speak. He, I remember when you spoke to our leadership, Jefferson, class, you talked about, we were at the court building in Gretna, and he said, you know, if it wasn't for music, I might have been over there instead. He pointed to the jailhouse, and that, that really struck me as powerful for somebody who has accomplished so much as new one has um, as a sheriff, so I thought that was fantastic uh, testimony to the power of music.